Hey, hey, welcome to this challenge question. Your coach Anderson's here, ready to lead the way. So this problem here is gonna be about percentages and percentages therein. So this is kind of like a double percent problem. And if you know how taxes and discounts work, especially when they're done at the same time, then you're gonna be just fine with this problem. Even if you don't understand the wording here, I'm gonna show you how this is just like a regular tax and discount problem. So here we go. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna read the question as always. And then I'm going to read the entire problem. That way we can you know, understand what's going on, the story behind it, so we can strategize and make a plan. So here we go. Which of the following statements accurately describes the difference between the final price the customer pays and the item's original cost? Okay, so again, we don't know. We don't know exactly what we're supposed to be doing, but we know what we're going to be finding. What we're finding is the difference between the final price and the item's original cost. What item are we talking about? I don't know. We're gonna find out, all right? We're good, we're good, we're good. But when you look at the answer choices, you see that it says, hey, the customer pays the original cost of the item. Then it says the customer pays 1% less than the original, 1% more, and 5% less. So it looks like we're talking about a percent change problem, right? You know, right? Same price, 1% more or less, 5% more or less. This is a percent change problem. So we got, we're gonna wanna be careful here. Let's go ahead and take the information in and truly understand what we're doing. So in the beginning of the problem, here's what it says. It says, a store owner increases the price of a popular item by 10%. At checkout, a customer uses a 10% coupon. When the following, or which of the following statements accurately describes that difference? So let's go ahead and talk about this. This 10% right here increases the price by 10%. That is a 10% markup, right? That is a 10% markup. And then we see over here at checkout, a customer uses a 10% coupon, meaning a 10% discount, right? So right here, 10% discount, right there. So 10% markup, 10% discount, and there we have it. And really quick, before we continue my math party people, I know you're enjoying this, and you can have thousands of problems just like this in our program. In our program, you have four main things to help you succeed and more. But mainly, in our course, you're gonna get access to recorded lessons, you're gonna get access to guided practice just like this, worksheets that you can print out and try or keep them online, and lastly, speed drills to raise your confidence. That way, when you take the test, there's no test anxiety, there's no pressure, because you've been timed before, you know what to do, and that's the feeling that we want. And all of that's included in our program and more, so take a brief moment, Click the link here in this video or in the description to learn about the program and then reach out to us if you have any questions. Sign up now, let's get going, and let's get back to the problem. So here's where a lot of people may get confused, and I don't blame them, but I want to go ahead and make sure you understand why this common mistake is made and what the actual way to do this is. So when you're talking about regular numbers, let's go ahead and say I gave you $10 and then I took away $10. I think it's very clear to say that, well, you end up right where you started, right? You end up exactly where you started. Now, that is not the case with percents. Why? Well, if you remember, especially if you were in the courses and you've been watching videos on percent change like taxes and discounts, remember that you always start from 100%, correct? Correct. So what that means is if you're talking about a 10% markup, what that attributes to, again, you always start from 100%, right? Always start from 100. So in reality, a 10% markup means you're paying 110% because you add 10% to 100. Okay, now what about a 10% discount? Well, a 10% discount means, well, you start at 100 and you go down. You're not gonna start at the 110. You're paying a 10% discount, which means you are lowering the original 100%, 100% by 10, not the previous percent. No, it's always starting from 100. So the 10% markup attributes to paying 110% of the cost. A 10% discount attributes to paying, again, 90% of the cost because you go from 100, take away 10, you're paying 90%. So with that said, what you're doing here is you're saying I'm paying 110% of 90% of the original cost, okay? That's how that should be interpreted because when you apply the tax or the markup here in this case, 
You apply the markup, that's 110%. You apply the discount, lowers down to 90%. So you're taking 110% of 90% of the original cost. You don't just add and subtract percents. You always what? Multiply percents, right? You always multiply percents. And this is how it's actually going to be done. And what you're going to do now is essentially turn this into a mathematical statement. So 110% as a decimal is, well, move it over, 1.1. Then of means multiply. 90% translates to 0 0.9. And then it's going to be multiplied by the original. So once we figure out what 1.1 times 0 0.9 is, we will have a good look at what we are modifying that original cost by. And that's going to be the answer. So watch this over here, my math part of rule. We have 1.1 times 0 0.9. 1.1 times 0 0.9 is what? 1 times 9 is 9. 1 times 9 is 9. Check this out over here. And we have one decimal place, two decimal places. And so it's going to be 1, 2. Booyah right there. So we have ourselves 0 0.99 right here. 0 0.99 times the original. So this is 0 0.99 of the original cost. And so when you think about it, we can turn this back into a percentage and we can say that that is, boom, boom, 99% of the original. And doesn't that look pretty understandable now, right? Doesn't that look pretty understandable? So when you think about it, the original was 100%. If we're down to 99%, that means we're paying 1% less after we apply a 10% markup and use a 10% discount. Look at that. Seems weird, right? But that's how percents work, by multiplying, not adding, subtracting. So with that, there it is. The answer choice here is B, the customer pays 1% less than the original cost of the item. I'm your coach Anderson. I'll see you in the next video here. Hope you enjoyed it. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.